Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Hey, so I got a question from Mitchell Lawn Care and basically, and I'm reading what he wrote, right? He said, uh, I've been tossing around the idea of switching over to battery powered trimmers and blowers for the next season. Do you think it was a good decision for your business? The pros and the cons. So I decided I'm just returning from a job and I decided to uh, make this into a video because you know, you can't really write what I think about this equipment. And again, this is my personal opinion. Okay, now keep in mind what makes me come to this decision. The type of turf that I'm mowing, the uh, frequency that I'm actually mowing these properties and just my overall you know what is my business plan i'm not a you know we're not a company that basically just you know you can call and we come out and cut your grass whenever you want us to you know what i mean no we are a scheduled company either you want us weekly or you want us bi-weekly and if you are fertilizing your lawn then we don't take you on as a bi-weekly you know what i'm saying so so again there's there's I, I i put this out in other videos so i want you guys to know what type of com uh, company we are uh, we work year round and we are in the south okay so we deal basically with um, Bermuda most I'm, I will say 80 to 85 percent of my properties are centipede okay centipede grass so you know we have Zosia we have St. Augustine which is extremely rare um, but we have it <clears throat> and uh, yeah so we have southern turf and again we are a scheduled uh, service company okay so that's the type of company we are all right so now um i i am a husky uh member so i am a part of husqvarna husky squad so I, and don't take this uh as if you know because i'm a husky squad member that i'm gonna praise and love every piece of equipment that husqvarna makes no most of this stuff that you see in here guys um if you see that is husqvarna I bought this stuff myself okay yes Husqvarna gave me certain pieces of equipment but most of this equipment the battery powered equipment that you see I purchased this myself so I'm not I'm not locked in to tell you that this is the best stuff in the world no it isn't you know I love certain pieces of equipment and I not that I hate but a lot of uh, other equipment in to what I do needs to be improved okay so um was it a good decision for me to uh transfer to battery powered equipment uh yes i personally love and i'm willing to try battery powered equipment and that's something that you as an individual have to be willing to do okay you're not going to just pick up a piece of battery powered equipment and use it and automatically love it it doesn't work like that it's like if you grab a brand new mower you know you love i don't know you know x mark and you jump into uh i don't know john deere you know you're, you're gonna find little things that you're not gonna like about it but the more you use it the easier uh it becomes and and you get kind of used to the way the equipment works right so you work with it now um because i am uh a scheduled service company I love the battery powered equipment. You know, when it comes to edge trimmer, I love the way it cuts. Um, when it comes to, you know, the small one, it, I love it because they're light and they really, really do what I want them to do. Now, when it comes to blowers, no. You know what I mean? This one was given to me uh, by Husqvarna. I only use it for pine straw because again, I'm used to the steel BR 800 and I'm used to power you get on that property and you finish you blow it off and you keep it moving right you pop smoke with this this is this is uh this is to me again it doesn't give me the power that I need so I take a lot more time um on the property now this so you guys that don't know about it um basically what it is you know you can take it off here and take the battery pack off let me see if I can do it one-handed. Take the battery itself, and then you put it on this, and then you hook it up to this, and you can take this and plug it in into all your battery-powered equipment and utilize it. Now, would I have purchased this if Husqvarna 
didn't give it to me? No, no, no. Um, and that's the first thing that I will tell you about battery powered equipment. Battery powered equipment is too expensive right now. And it's because of technology. Like anything else, when it first comes out, it's, it's expensive. But the more and the easier the technology becomes, um, then things start to minimize as far as price. So to me, this, I wanna say this, this battery pack thingy, just this and this blower is probably like $1,000. And you go, oh man, $1,000. Yeah, I personally wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't pay $1,000 for this, right? And then this is additional cost. But they gave it to me, it works, and it does what it's supposed to. But me as a professional business that, you know, I'm about efficiency, to me it needs uh, more, uh, more, 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 more power, more, more uh, CFIs. Now, the uh, CFMs, I mean, the, um, the, this, this battery pack lasts uh, on average of three and a half hours. Uh, when I say three and a half hours, I'm talking about three and a half consi uh, consistent hours. If you were to grab that for three and a half hours, well, the whole time, uh, that's how much the, uh, the battery pack is supposed to last. Now, you know darn well that we don't hold this for three and a half hours. So you go to a property, you blow. It's, it's extremely, I love it when it comes to, you know, blowing, uh, you know, when you hook it up to the piece of equipment because it gives you a lot, a lot of uh, power and runtime, but it is uh, it is daunting on the back. You know, when, it, when it's hot, you don't want that thing on your back. You know, when, when it's 110, 105, man, the last thing you want is additional weight, right? Good. Um, but yeah, well, um, now the trimmers, again, battery trimmers, this one, I love, right? The 325 ILK. I love my weekly and bi-weekly bi -weekly properties. I love this. But um, I, I always carry my steel 111 RX. Why? Because this thing is for grass, okay? Let's say if you have, you know, again, Bermuda, Centipede, St. Augustine, whatever type of grass, but if you have this, you know, a little bit of mixture of, of this and that or whatever, you know, it, it does the job, but, you know, gas will give you more power. Make sense? Okay, I, I'm, I'm trying to, get, I'm not going all over the, I hope I'm not all over the place, right? Now, um, so yes, I use my battery powered equipment for um, my weeklies and bi-weeklies, but when I get into, you know, my commercial properties and stuff like that, I utilize my gas because it gives me more power. Now, one thing also that you have to uh, realize is that all that pulling, trying to start equipment, that's gone. All you have to do is put the battery pack in and squeeze the trigger and you have power. Now, some of you guys may say, well, you know, the batteries don't last long. What happens if you're in the middle of a job and the battery runs out? Simple. You go get another battery. You know, <laughs> gas runs out of your tank too, right? If you don't check it. Too easy, right? So not trying to be funny, but you know, a lot of things that some of you guys put in the comments, I'm like, really, man? Come on, man. You know, I can understand where you're coming from because... We are uh, creatures of habit. I'm used to one specific way of doing things. I'm used to one type of stuff. Uh, so I have to, and you have to really want to uh, change or willing to learn or adjust or modify in order to get the 100% full uh, capabilities of what this uh, battery powered equipment can give you. Okay. Um, the runtime on these batteries are, are to me, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, on average, this is, a, um, let me get it right here. This is a 300, the BLI 300, and I can do an average of, um, I wanna say between six and seven homes with this battery. And again, it depends on, on how big your properties are. It depends on, on what you're trimming and, and, and your skill level. You know what I mean? And then you have the smaller battery pack, which is right here, the BLI 200. And with this, I get four, about, about four or five. You can tell the difference, right? Um, 
this is about uh, 2.9 pounds and this one is about uh, 4.2 pounds so uh, 2.9 4.2 also you have to be willing to spend the money on additional batteries um, like I said before the batteries are expensive you have to be able to spend the money on the batteries because when your, your power go <laughs> run out then you know you're your shit out of luck right so you gotta have uh, additional batteries also you have to have a charger now it's easy for you to say well just put some solar panels uh, with an inverter whatever the case might be that stuff is expensive and everyone doesn't know how to do it so I have uh, two chargers and basically what I do is um, I put them in my bag uh, when I finish what I'm doing throughout the day put them in my bag and take them to the house charge them on, on average the BLI 200 takes about 30 minutes to charge and the BLI 300 takes me about, I wanna say about an, an hour. And uh, But when it comes to that big battery pack, it takes about two and a half to three hours to charge. So that is uh, a con when it comes to battery powered equipment. Um, is that basically, again, you gotta have a, a means to charge it. Now I have a, a truck or, you know, those old cigarette lighter chargers or whatever, but it'll take you one hour to charge a BLI 200 which is a small one and I once I am out there I'm not physically driving for an hour you know what I mean so again those are the pros and cons and then you know the, the equipment is very light okay case in point this trimmer is about seven pounds um, this trimmer right here is only six pounds so then you know you add the Darwin grip which is not too much of a, of a weight issue and then you add the battery so it is lighter battery powered equipment is lighter um, so yes now when it comes to like I said before um, the prices guys let me tell you prices these things are, are, are expensive these things are ridiculous expensive um, me personally if I was starting a lawn care business I will not um, go with this because again if you start a lawn care business you don't have the, the amount of money to purchase this stuff right um, so yes on, on, on average let's say just just for instance the battery itself the BLR 200 this battery goes for about you can get it from 185 to 200 dollars I want to say 200 to 10 right this one the BLI 300 you can get this battery for I want to say between 269 dollars to probably you know three three hundred dollars something like that right but yeah those are the prices when it comes to the batteries and then when you're looking oh <laughs> the dog from my boy over there so 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 yes you know so it is expensive um but uh they are they are extremely quiet um and they are extremely light case on point this uh pole saw hey this pole saw um the Husqvarna <laughs> Power 30 i is extremely extremely light and you know it goes all the way up to uh, i want to say uh 16 feet okay and then you know they're, they're extremely light so when it comes to the lightness uh the weight these these battery powered equipment are light um i am 100 percent i utilize battery powered equipment for um you know everything that i do but like i said before when it comes to the price when it comes to what you're using them for um, and they are quiet they are extremely extremely quiet um, this is what I will tell you um, in the morning time and I love it in the morning time uh, I show up at one of my customers property man and it is it's, it's cool because I get in there and I start to trim with the shrubs and, and, and they don't hear me they don't even know that I'm there you know and sometimes I would even blow some of the clippings out and, and it is great, it is great. Uh, when I use the battery power, I mean the, uh, the gas uh, uh, edge or string trimmer, it, it is just noisy. It is, it is, you know, pretty noisy. So without running this video into uh, what you don't want it to, you know, start rambling. Yes, guys, uh, it depends on how much money you have because it is expensive. And then I would advise you to look at Look at your business model and what you're doing. Um, look at how much money you are willing to spend uh, on this uh, on this stuff, and, and you know, make it make it make it a long-term investment. Like case in point, I don't have to worry about 
taking these tools, you know, up to the mechanic. I don't want to have to worry about mixed fuel uh, consumption. Um, and that's another thing. I, I've saved a lot of money on mixed fuel consumption using uh, battery powered equipment. Um, but you can say, well, you know, I can just, you know, use that money and buy fuel. Again, it is an individual um, uh, thing. You know, you do what you feel is right for your business. Um, but I am pro battery powered. Uh, I'm hoping that, you know, one of these companies can give me a battery powered lawnmower, big one, a 48 or a 52. So I can take out, you know, because that's what that's what I want. But I'm not going to purchase one because right now, because they're too freaking expensive. And, um, you know, I've never used one. So I don't know what their cut quality is and all that good stuff. But awesome, awesome uh, request. Mitchell, appreciate it very much. And I hope I answered your um, your question, man. Like I said before, it works for me. And, and some of my guys don't like it. Um, because again, it's, it's not, you know, so, and, and another thing is you're so used to hearing that, that, that loud engine that as soon as you grab it, you know, you know, you're like, oh man, this is a piece of toy, you know, but it does what it's supposed to do. A lot of times we are revving that, that, that throttle all the way up and guess what? You don't need that much power to cut that grass, but a lot of people like to rev the power up all over the place. Right. You know, so yes. Uh, other than that, guys, <laughs> I hope I answered your question, man. Uh, put it in the comment below, man. I've, I've, this, uh, I've only used Husqvarna and I've used um, Milwaukee. Now, my, my Milwaukee equipment, uh, I use it at home, and I like what they do. Um, I think their equipment is a little bit too heavy. Their, their, their string trimmer, I love their string trimmer, but the battery pack, man, they don't, they don't last. They don't last. The battery pack on the Milwaukee, you know, it's, it's a home. They last for one house, you know, a home. But, you know, when it comes to certain things, I, yeah, it, it, it isn't worth it. So I just, I use, I use it at home. So I, I do love it. But yeah, um, again, thank you for taking the time to watch my video, guys. If you have any questions, again, leave it in the comment below. Have a blessed one. Pop smoke. Hey, by the way, I'm going to put Mitchell channel uh, in the uh, description. To this video okay and everything that you see guys uh go to hoskavana.com and it can give you more information on uh, all this equipment all right have a blessed one